Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on opening and managing windows in SFML. There are two types of windows in the SFML library. The first, SF window, is the most basic version of the two and is typically used for pure OpenGL applications. The second one is called SF render window and features all the functionality in the SF window in addition to higher level functions that will help you draw much more easily. We will be using the SF render window throughout the tutorials. To create a window, we will create a render window object. We are going to give it an object called video mode, which will contain the size of our window. And secondly, we will give it a title. If you try to run it now, you will see a window briefly flashing up on the screen before the program closes again. To make it stay open, let's create a game loop that will keep going as long as the window is open. All the logic, event handling and rendering will be managed within this loop. Let's call the clear function with the color black and then the display function. The clear function will clear the screen of everything previously drawn and the display function will display whatever we decided to draw since we last cleared the screen. I will cover drawing in the next tutorial. If you now try launching the program, you will notice that the window opens, stays open but is completely unresponsive. Let's fix that. We are going to create an event object. This object will be given to the window object function called all event, which will fill the event object we created with the information of what's happening within the window. This function will return true if there are more events that needs to be processed. So we are going to put this inside a while loop. That way we will be able to handle every event regardless of the amount. As a bonus, let's make it so that if we send a closed event to the window, the window will actually close itself by calling the close function. We can now run the window again and it will be responsive and will close down if you click on the close button. Okay, before moving on to the next tutorial, I have a small challenge for you. Try making two separate windows appear on the screen at once, with different titles and make it so that you can close them individually. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next tutorial.